In this video, we will continue our discussions on the Survey Settings tabs. In particular, we will discuss the Points tab and the Linking Codes tab in this video. The Points tab is used to control how imported coordinate records are read. In other words, when a line inside a raw data file has X, Y, Z coordinates, how do you want to read that line? There are choices here. If we pick always, it will import those records and then bring them in as normal points. If we pick never, it will not bring in any X, Y, Z coordinates from the data file. Uh, if we pick as control, it will make every X, Y, Z coordinate that it imports a control point. And if you want, which is a very common practice, every point to be control or not control. In other words, I will select which ones will come in as control and which one will come as, as points. I would use this option as control by field code. To continue this part right here, you need to tell the software which points, which codes are going to come in as control. You would put your cursor in the next line, which is Control Point Features, and then click the ellipsis button. In this example, let's say we have a field code named CP, and that represents our control points. We hit the Add button here, we type in CP, we click Accept, and now every point that is has the code CP will come in as a control point every other XYZ coordinate will come in as a normal point. Control points are generally fixed points or high precision points. The next tab is the linking codes tab. The first entry in here is the linking codes. Let's take a look at that by simply clicking on the field and then clicking on the ellipsis button. Linking codes are used in survey to control the line work. If you key in a code and you use the ST, that indicates that that's the start of a line. Also, if you use a 1 rather than ST, that also indicates the start of a line. These can be changed in accordance with your standards. Simply make the change and then click Accept. The next option is the link code position. This option dictates where the link code will be with respect to the field code. We have two options. One is after the field code, which is very common, and before the field code. In other words, if I want to start at edge of pavement line, I would type in EP and then the linking code, which would be ST. That would be the correct syntax if I had this set to after point field code. The next survey setting is the best match field code option located here. The best match field code option controls how raw survey data field codes are matched with the field codes specified in the survey feature definitions. The matching process is applied during the raw survey data import. If a match is not found, the imported field code will show in the all points in red in the Explorer. These are the properties of a survey feature definition in this example for the existing edge of pavement. Here we have the alpha code and the terrain model attribute that we'll use for creating a terrain model. Here we have a survey where two codes were not found in the matching process. In this case, edge of pavement was found and we're looking here at the Explorer in the survey area under all points and then edge of pavement left and edge of pavement right were not found and they will show up red inside the Explorer window. There are four options for the best match field code. The first option is called match exact. The match exact option specifies that a raw survey data field code and the field code in the feature definition must exactly match. For example, 
Say the field code specified in the survey feature definition was EOP. That feature definition would be used if the raw data field code was EOP. If EOP1, EOPR, EOP left were imported as the raw data field codes, no match would be found for these codes, and these codes would show up in red in the Explorer. The next option is the match start option. This option specifies that the raw survey data field code must start with the field code in the survey feature definitions. This is how best match worked in the GeoPack survey software. For example, say the field code specified in the feature definition was EOP. That feature definition would be used if the raw survey data field codes were EOP1, EOP2, EOPR, EOPL, etc. Anything that begins with EOP will use the EOP survey feature definition to control the display and terrain model attributes of that code. The next option is the match alpha option. This option specifies that the raw survey data field codes must match the field code in the survey feature definition and allows for numbers after the field code. This is how matching worked in inroad survey. For example, say the field code specified in the survey feature definition was EOP. That feature definition would be used if the raw survey field codes were EOP1, EOP2, EOP3, etc. in the raw survey data file that was being imported. The EOP survey feature definition would then be used to control the display and terrain model attributes. If EOPL and EOPR were imported, this would result in not finding a match. The last option is the match truncate option. This option specifies that the raw survey data field codes be truncated one character at a time until it matches the field codes in the survey feature definitions. This option works in conjunction with the best match truncate value below. For example, say the truncate value is set to 3 and the field code specified in the survey feature definition was EOP. That feature definition would be used if the raw survey field codes were EOP, EOPL, EOPLT, EOPR, and EOPRT. This option truncates one character at a time from the end until it finds a match. In this example, it will truncate the field code searching for matches until only three characters remain, which would be EOP. The next option is space is required between field code and link code. Expand that a little bit. If you set that to true, which is a common practice, then you would have a space between the field code and link code, regardless of its earlier set position before or after. If you set this to false, then the linking code and the field code would not have a space between those characters in the data. The next setting is the linear feature linking method. This setting controls how the software connects field codes together to form lines. The default setting is by field code. This method reads the field code and associated linking codes to form lines. Using this method is a common practice. The next option is by consecutive field code. This option connects field codes together to form lines that appear consecutively in the raw data. 
No start linking codes are needed using this method. The last option is connect all matching field codes. This option connects all matching field codes in the raw data to form lines. Again, no start linking codes are needed using this method. The next setting is linear feature linking. Linear feature linking has two options, by linking codes and force point list features. The by linking codes option retains all start linking codes entered in the data collectors when importing survey data. The force point list features option removes all start linking codes when importing the data. Both options produce the same linear connections. Using point list features provides additional survey editing functionality compared to using linking codes. You can set this option to buy linking codes and manually convert the lines that you want to edit to point list features after the survey has been processed. This allows you to use additional editing functionality while retaining the start linking codes. The next setting is linear feature force curves to line strings. The default option for this setting is false. If this is set to false, all multipoint curves will be displayed in 3D as B spline curves in the process survey data. If this is set to true, all multipoint curves will be displayed in 3D as curved line strings. B spline curves are displayed with vertical curves. Curved line strings connect the points vertically with tangent lines. Both methods display the curves horizontally. The last setting in the linking codes tab is called feature exclusions. This option only applies if the linear feature linking method is set to by consecutive field code. Using this option instructs the software not to draw lines between consecutive field codes when the code is specified in this field. To set the feature exclusions, first ensure that the linear feature linking method is set to by consecutive field code. Next, put your cursor in the field that says feature exclusions and then click on the ellipsis button. In this area here, you can add your codes that you do not want to connect together with lines when you're importing raw survey data. This concludes the video on survey settings, points, and linking codes. In the next video, we will continue our discussions on the survey settings and discuss the data file parsing section.